everybody, this is Jennifer. Today I will be taking you through a little bit more of an intermediate mat class with the help of my friend Jill. So let's go ahead as always lie down onto the mat. Let your legs go along in front of you. Your arms are long by your side. So let's start with some breathing. Go ahead and place your hands on your rib cage. Make sure the thumbs are facing towards your back. So this way when you take an inhale, you can feel your ribs expand outward. So go ahead and take an inhale through the nose, feel the ribs expand. And on that exhale through the mouth, use your upper abdominals to knit the rib cage together. Good, again, inhale deeply through the nose, feel that expansion in the ribs, feel the lungs up, and then exhale all that air out through the mouth. Beautiful, let's do two more times. Again, inhale completely, and then exhale fully, empty out the lungs. Feel the ribs knit, the upper abdominals pull in. Again, inhale, and then exhale. So now bring your knees into your chest. Your arms are along by your side. The head, neck, and shoulders will curl up. You'll look into your abs. You're always looking into the navel. So lengthen those legs long for the hundred so they can extend out to a 45 degree angle or a challenging position for you. Start pumping the arms up and down as you take an inhale through the nose. And then exhale all the air out through the mouth. Good, again, think about inhaling for a count of five and exhaling all the air out through the count of five. Good, lengthening the arms long. The fingers are reaching towards the wall in front of you. Your shoulders are gliding down the back and you're initiating the pumps with those lat muscles. Good, again, inhale. And then exhale all the air out through the mouth. Those legs are lengthening long through the back of the legs. Think about trying to reach the tips of the toes towards the wall as well as the fingers. Keep deepening the abdominals. Maybe try to curl up a little higher, fold a little more at the sternum. Three more breaths, in through the nose, and exhale all the air out through the mouth. Last two, deepen those abdominals. Everything's hugging towards that center line. Good, last time, in, and exhale all the air out, good. Once you're done with that exhale, stop the pumping, but stay lifted, keep deepening the abs. Maybe try to lower the legs just a little bit, challenge yourself, and then draw the knees into the chest, lower the upper body down. Go ahead and rock back and forth from side to side, just for a quick second to massage the low back, get rid of any of that tension if, you, if it builds up in that exercise. Go ahead and lengthen your legs long for the roll up. So your legs are actively pressing together. The toes are pulling back towards your nose so your feet are flexed. The arms lift up towards the ceiling. So long fingers. Go ahead before we start anything, go ahead and roll the shoulders back. Feel them plug into the mat. Take an inhale, lift just the head, bring your chin to your chest and stop. Look into the navel. On the exhale, roll yourself up, deep in the abdominals, reach your fingers long past the toes, pull the abs back in opposition. Make sure your shoulders aren't coming up towards your ears. Now take an inhale and start to roll your shape back. On the exhale, let your spine lengthen and articulate onto the mat. The arms will lift back up to the ceiling. Beautiful, Joe. Again, inhale, lift the head, bring the chin to the chest. Exhale, pull the navel to the spine and roll your shape up. Make sure you're exhaling. Use that exhale to facilitate that movement. Draw the navel back, deepen the abs, and start to exhale and lower down. And the arms will lift up to the ceiling. Let's do three more. Again, inhale, lift the head, chin to the chest. Exhale, all the breath. Keep pulling the toes back towards your nose. Get a nice stretch here. Shoulders glide down the back. Take an inhale, deep in the abdominals. Start to roll it down and exhale, lengthen the spine. Create space in between that vertebrae. Lift the arms up to the ceiling. Again, inhale, lift the head, chin to the chest. Navel pulls deep towards the spine as you exhale and roll it up. Good, the crown of the head reaches towards the wall. Take an inhale, deep in the abs. Exhale, lengthen the spine down. One more time. Again, inhale, lift the head, chin to the chest. Exhale as you roll your shape up. Good. Make it your best one. Take an inhale, keep deepening the abdominals and roll the shape down. Exhale, lengthen. Make everything nice and long. You're growing nice and long through the crown of the head. Lower the arms down by your side. Go ahead and draw your knees into your chest for the rollover prep. Now your palms are actively pressing into the mat and the chest stays nice and open, so feel your shoulder blades connect in the back. Lift the legs directly up to the ceiling. Good. So lower your legs to 45 and stop. Good. Pull the abdominals in and open the legs only to the width of your mat. Lift your legs back up to the ceiling with control and then feel the inner thighs draw the legs together. Good. So again, you lower to 45, long legs will open. They lift up and then they draw towards that center line, controlling the movement. Good, again, long legs lower. 
stay open. Make sure the shoulders are pressing down into the mat and close. So let's reverse. Long legs will open the width of the mat. They lower as they're open. Good. Close the legs. Lift with control. Good. So you're pointing your toes. You lower the legs. Draw the legs together. And then you lift up. Make sure the shoulders are pressed back. The abs are pulled in and up. Last time. Good. Feel the inner thighs. Draw the legs together. Use the control of the lower abdominals to lift the legs. Good. Now keep both legs up. Lower the left leg all the way to the mat. The left foot will flex. Toes draw back towards your nose. These are your one leg circles. The right heel turns inward slightly. And you'll take the right leg across the body. Around, stop and center to lift. Good. It goes across the body. Always stopping in center. Reconnect to the abdominals. Good. Across and lift. Last three. That left leg is long and active. The shoulders are pressed into the mat and opening the chest. Last one, stop and center. Good, reverse it, take it out a little, cross and lift. So you don't have to go and make huge circles with the legs. You can always shorten your range of motion if you need to. But if you feel like you need a little bit more of a challenge, go ahead and make that big circle. Last time, stop and center. Now as your right leg lowers, your left leg will lift up to the ceiling. Your right leg is long, the foot is flexed, the left heel turns inward, you'll take that leg across the body around, stop and center. Good, abs are pulling in and up, so your abs are constantly pulling in to keep the pelvis stable as your leg circles. Last two, good, last time, stop it in center, and then reverse it. Make sure you do that body check to keep the heel turning inward, the palms press and the chest opens up. Good, keep deepening the abdominals to stabilize the pelvis, last two. Good, last time, keep the leg lifted and lower the leg all the way to the mat. So make sure that leg is longer than the opposite leg as you lower it. Both feet are now flexed, legs are actively pressing together, lift the arms up to the ceiling, pull the shoulders back to the mat. Take an inhale, deepen the abs as you bring the chin to the chest. Exhale, roll your shape up. Good, get a nice stretch before we transition into the next exercise. Go ahead and stack the spine, lower the arms, Place the hands next to your hips and bring your bottom towards the front edge of the mat for rolling like a ball. So your hands can either go onto your ankles, all 10 fingers facing each other, or if you need to modify, you can always place the hands behind the knees. So right now, Jill's gonna place her hands right on her ankles. Her elbows are still wide, the heels are together, the toes are apart, they lift up off of the mat. So you're back on your sacrum, you're finding that sweet spot. The navel draws back towards the spine, the chin is tucked and you're bringing your head between your knees. You're wearing your knees like earmuffs. Go ahead and take an inhale, rock the shape back to just the tips of your shoulder blades and exhale, lift up and hold. Good, so you're always pausing before you take another inhale, rock the shape back. Good, exhale, lift up, find that sweet spot. Keep fighting for it. Again, inhale, take the shape and rock it back. The heels stay nice and close to your bottom. Let's do three more. Again, inhale, deep in the abdominals, rock it back and lift it back up. Good, last two, scoop the navel to the spine. Good, last time, take an inhale, use your breath, and exhale, rock it up and hold. Good, fight for that. Go ahead and bring the knees together, the legs together. Place your hands on your right shin, and go ahead and move your bottom back. Place your hands on your right leg or your right shin. Lengthen that left leg long, keep the chin tucked, and go ahead and round your upper body back to the mat, lifting that left leg up. Good, so before we start our single leg stretch, let's get the hand placement right. Make sure that your right hand's on the outside of your right ankle, the left hand's on your, left, your right shin. So you'll go ahead and take an inhale as you switch legs. Keep that inhale going as you switch back to the right. Now it's an exhale, pull in, exhale to switch. Good, so every time you switch, make sure that that outside hand is on the ankle. Abs are pulling in and up, and your elbows are nice and wide. You're staying lifted onto the tips of your shoulder blades. Beautiful, keep deepening the abs. Let's go one more full breath, and then exhale, exhale. Both knees draw in towards the middle. This is your double leg stretch. Take, it, take an inhale, reach your arms towards the back wall, your legs in front. Go ahead and circle your arms around. Exhale, draw the knees into your chest using your biceps. Don't get your shoulders involved. Again, inhale, reach. Good, anchor the tailbone as you circle the arms around. Exhale, draw in. Maybe try to lift up a little higher. Again, inhale, reach and lengthen. Circle the arms around. Exhale, draw the knees in. Let's do two more. Inhale, reach. Now, if you need to keep it more up towards the, the, set, the ceiling and the legs lifted a little higher, you can to modify. Again, inhale, reach and lengthen. Circle the arms around, exhale, pull in. Good, stay lifted, lift the legs to the ceiling for scissors, both hands behind the right thigh or calf, or reach up as high as you can go. Flex both your feet, lower that left leg about halfway, and then double pull full, 
switch the legs. Good, it's a pull, pull, and switch. The tailbone is heavy on the mat. The abs keep pulling in and up. Good, you're strengthening and stretching that leg using your abdominals. Abs are pulling in and up. Go back to the left, let's do one more to the right. One more to the left. Keep both legs lifted, hands will go behind the head for your lower lift. Now if you need to make a modification, you can place that diamond shape underneath your sacrum if you need to. If not, you stay here and lift it. Heels are together, toes are apart. Long legs will lower on an inhale for three, two, one. Use your exhale and your lower abs to lift those legs back up to the ceiling. Good, it's a lower, lower, lower. Deep in the abs to lift with control. Beautiful, so that upper body stays nice and still as the legs will lower. The upper body still does not move as the legs lift back up to the ceiling. You're using those upper abdominals to lower the legs and then lift them with control. Let's do one more time. Good, lower and then lift. Beautiful, draw the knees into the chest. Keep the hands behind the head. This is crisscross. Right knee stays in, left leg lengthens long. Twist over towards the right bent knee. Hold it there for a count of three. Open the elbow a little wider for two. Bring the knee in towards your armpit for three. Lift up a little bit higher and then come to center and then twist it over to the left. Hold it for another three, two, one. Back to the center, take it into a flow. When you go back to a right, back to the left. Now you're only flowing as fast as you can keep the hips stable. So you don't wanna to go too fast. Abs are pulling in and up. Good, one more time to the right, one more time to the left. Draw the knees into the chest, lower the head down. Take a moment to rock from side to side. You can turn your head if you need to. Massage the low back. Good, so just go ahead and place the feet on the mat real quick. Let's do a spinal twist. Open the feet and the legs the width of the mat. Drop your knees over to the right. Let the palms face up to the ceiling. Let your chest open up. Place the right foot on top of the right thigh. Good, turn your head over to the opposite side, so the left. So you're feeling that left hip maybe draw towards the mat. Both your shoulders are back onto the mat. The chest is nice and open. Take a couple of breaths. And then go ahead and carefully bring the knees back up to the center and then bring them over to the left. Place the left foot on top of the right thigh. And again, feel that now right hip draw back to the mat. So you're always trying to find opposition. And then bring the knees back up to the center. Draw the knees into your chest. Take a moment, rock back and forth. And then when you're ready, go ahead and lengthen your legs long. Anytime you feel like you need to rock yourself up rather than do a roll up, you absolutely can do that. So the feet are flexed, the toes draw back towards the nose. Make sure your legs are actively hugging the center line. Take an inhale, lift the head, bring the chin to the chest, and then exhale as you roll yourself up. Get a nice stretch. Use these transitional roll-ups to always make them better, perfect them. Draw the navel back, lower the arms by your side, stack the spine up, and you're ready for spine stretch forward. So your long legs will open a little bit wider than the width of your mat. Your toes are still pulled back towards your nose. Your feet are flexed. Arms come up shoulder height, shoulder width. So you're sitting up nice and tall. Maybe tighten up the buttocks to try to sit up a little taller out of that low back. Take an inhale, lift up nice and tall, bring your chin to your chest, and on the exhale, you'll start to reach the fingers forward. Drop the crown of the head towards the mat. Now scoop the belly, pull the navel back towards the spine. Create some space between your thighs and your abs. Take an inhale, start to stack the spine and lift up. Exhale once the head lifts. Good, let's do one more with this breathing. Take an inhale, chin comes down. Exhale, reach it forward. Pull the navel in. Good, draw the shoulders down the back. Make sure the arms are hugging that center line. Now changing the breath. Take an inhale, start to stack the spine and lift up. Exhale, go ahead right into your next stretch. The chin drops down, the abs pull in and up. So it's one breath. As you take an inhale, you stack it up. And then exhale, go right back into it. Keep deepening the abdominals as you're reaching. The shoulders glide down one more time. Take an inhale, stack and lift everything up. Good, exhale, fold and reach and stretch. Good, take an inhale, start to stack everything up. So lower your arms down by your side, bend your knees and place your feet on the mat for your open leg rocker. So you can take a hold of the back of your knees and lift your legs up to a tabletop position. So bend your knees, yep, place your hands right there. Open the legs the width of your shoulders, your feet are flexed. Good, so your chest is open towards the wall in front of you. You're pulling your chest through your arms. Good, close your legs just a little bit, there you go. So 
Let's keep it here for just a second. Go ahead and take an inhale. Bring your chin to your chest, the navel pulls to the spine. Rock your shape back to the tips of your shoulder blades. As you exhale, you'll pull the chest through and open it up. Let's do two more like this. Take an inhale. Good, chin to the chest, rock it back. Pull the navel to the spine. Exhale, pull the chest through and stay lifted as you open. One more time. Inhale, chin to the chest. Exhale, rock it back, lift up and hold. Good, open the chest. So if you want to advance this a little more, go ahead and walk your hands up maybe to your calves or your ankles. Good, the chest still pulls through when you're here. Take an inhale, drop the chin to the chest. Exhale, rock the shape back. Good, lift up and hold. Again, pull the chest through, shining the heart. Again, inhale, chin to chest, rock it back. And on the exhale, you'll lift up and hold one more time. Inhale, drop the chin. Exhale, scoop the abdominals. Good, lift up and hold. Shine the chest through. Now close your legs. Everything hugs towards that middle line. Toes or fingers will reach towards your toes, so you'll let go of your legs. Good, now you're in a little sneaky teaser. So go ahead and lower your upper body all the way to the mat. Your arms go along by your side. Your legs will lift directly up to the ceiling for corkscrew. So your heels will glue together, your toes part. Feel that center line starting from that heel connection. Deep in the abdominals, bring the legs into the center of the body, circle the legs to the right, all the way around to the left, stop and center, reconnect, and then you circle to the left, all the way around to the right. Again, when you come to center, stop. Make sure the chest is nice and open and the shoulder blades connect into the back. Now take it in the reverse, opposite direction that you just went in. Beautiful, stop and center. Let's do one more time on the other side. Come to center, good, stop and then come to center, good. So go ahead and just pop the hips up just a little bit. So you'll reach it up and then you'll take that into a circle. You'll circle the legs to the right, all the way around to the left. When you come to center, you'll pop the hips up just a tiny bit and then circle it around. You're controlling that with your lower abdominals. So you don't wanna swing the legs behind you. You wanna to try to lift them directly up to the ceiling. Good, let's do one more time on each side. Good, stop and center, lift it up and then go to the opposite side. Keep deepening the abdominals. Make sure those shoulders stay down and back. This is your last one. Good, stop and center. Go ahead and draw the knees into the chest. Just take a moment, rock back and forth. That can be a lot on your hip flexors. So go ahead and lengthen those legs nice and long for me. Flex the feet, everything's pressing together. Draw the toes back towards the nose. The arms will lift up to the ceiling. Feel the shoulders glide down the back. Take an inhale, lift the head, bring the chin to the chest. Exhale, roll your shape up. Again, nice transitional roll up deep in the abdominals. Pull the navel back as the shoulders draw back. You keep reaching forward. Stack the spine, lift up nice and tall, and then open those legs up to the width, a little bit wider than the width of your mat again. This is soft. Your arms come out into a T. Make sure you can see them in your peripheral vision so you're not arching the back. You'll take an inhale as you lift up, and on the exhale, you'll twist it over to the left. Bring the chin to the chest and reach that left pinky towards the right baby toe. That back arm is actively hugging that center line. The left hip is drawing back in opposition. Take an inhale and stack the spine, lift up. Good, and then exhale, twist and reach to the left. Pull the right hip back as you continually to reach that right hand forward. Again, inhale, lift up. Exhale, twist and reach. Good. Deep in the abdominals. Use your abs as you take an inhale and lift up nice and tall. And exhale, twist to the left, reach, chin drops. Both hips are nice and square. Let's one more time on each side. Inhale, exhale, twist and reach. Those legs are nice and long. The feet are flexed. They're not moving back and forth. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. One more time, reach, pull the abs in. Good, go ahead and inhale, stack the spine. Lower your arms down by your side. Bring your legs together and turn over onto your stomach for swan. Good, so for swan, you'll place your hands right underneath your shoulders. The elbows are hugging the center line, the legs are long together. So if you need to part the legs slightly because your lower back is giving you a little issue, that's completely fine. Do what's best for your body. So the forehead will hover off the mat, the palms will hover off the mat, and you'll just go ahead and lift up. Good, go ahead and press the palms, lift up a little higher, get that nice upper back extension. Your neck is in one long line with your back. Go ahead and take an inhale. Start to lower down and then lift the palms up as soon as you can and use your abs and the upper back to lower the rest of the way. Good, so it's an inhale. Head, heart, and hands lift and hover. Press the palms, lift and extend a little higher. Keep the hips down and then take an inhale and start to lower down. Lift the palms. Right, let's do two more. Again, inhale, head, heart, and hands lift. 
Good, press the palms, extend a little more, make sure the elbows hug the center line. Good, start to lower down with control and then you'll lift the palms, lower the rest of the way. One more time. Inhale, everything hovers. Press and lift, extend a little more. See how high you can get up with the elbows hugging the center line? And then slowly start to lower, lift the hands. Good. So for your single leg kick, you'll make fists with your hands, prop yourself up into your forearms. So it's very important that you have active fists pressing into the forearms. Now pull your chest through the arms, connect the shoulder blades in the back. Your legs again are still together, lengthening them long to the wall behind you. So go ahead and bend the right knee and kick your right heel in towards your bottom twice. Lengthen that leg and then it's a kick, kick left. Good, so it's a kick, kick and switch. Your gaze is at the front edge of the mat, so your spine is a nice, long line. Abs are pulling in and up. Good, you'll kick, kick and switch and those hips are nice and anchored. The abs are pulled in. Kick, kick right, kick, kick left. One more time to the right. Good, one more time to the left. Lengthen the legs long. Lower the upper body down to the mat. This is double leg kick. One hand over the other, over your back or as high up as you can go. Let the elbows relax onto the mat. Good, again, the legs are still long. You'll keep the abs pulled in and the hips anchored as you triple kick the legs now towards your heels. It's a three, two, one. Let your toes touch first. Now you'll lift and extend the upper body, reaching the hands behind you, opening the chest, connecting the shoulder blades. So now you'll lower down onto the opposite face cheek and kick again towards your bottom for three, two, one. Toes touch and you lift and extend. Good, everything's nice and strong. Again, lower it down onto that opposite face cheek kick. Kick, kick, toes down. Don't get into that low back. It's all about upper back extension here. One more time under the opposite side. Kick, three, two, one. Toes touch and you lift and extend. Beautiful. Go ahead and lower down. Place your hands underneath your shoulders and sit yourself back into a quick rest pose. Join the heels together, toes apart. Open the knees the width of your torso. Press the palms into the mat. So again, anytime we're stretching, it's always very active. The upper back rounds into the ceiling, your navel pulls in towards your spine, and you're creating some space between your thighs and your abs. Good, walk your hands back towards your knees, and you'll sit up nice and tall. Good, let's go ahead and turn over onto our back, or this side, or um, some shoulder bridge. So you'll lower all the way down onto your mat, your knees are bent, your feet are flat on the mat. So now your knees and your feet are about inner hip width. So they're the, hip, the width of your hip sockets. Your feet are planted on the mat, your arms are long by your side. The chest stays nice and open. So you start to lift the pelvis up towards the ceiling, starting to peel the low back, the middle back off the mat. Your chest is open, the palms press down, you're tightening up the buttocks. You're like a ramp, you're one long line from your knees to your hips to your shoulders. The abs are pulled in. And then you'll take an inhale, and on that inhale, you'll start to lower your spine, one vertebrae at a time in the opposite way you lift it. Exhale, lengthen that tailbone to the mat. Again, inhale, peel up. Abs are pulling in and up, and you'll lift up in one long line. Beautiful, press the palms, open the chest, tighten up the buttocks, and then inhale, start to lower down. Exhale, lengthen, create some space in between the vertebrae. Let's do two more again. Inhale, peel the spine up. Good, abs are pulling in and up. And then you'll start to lower everything down with control. One more time. Tighten up the buttocks right away before you start to lift up into that bridge. Make sure the feet are planted evenly into the mat. Open the chest. Maybe tighten up the buttocks and lift a little more. And then inhale, slowly start to lower down. Beautiful. And then let's go ahead and turn over onto our right side for sidekick series. Quickly. So again, you're lining the back of your body up with the baggage of your mat. Your head can either go into your hand or you can lengthen your arm long and place your head onto your bicep. The legs come out to the front edge of your mat. The top hand comes in front of your chest. Make sure your hips are nice and square, your feet are flat. You'll lift the top leg up and then you'll double kick, kick it towards your shoulder, point your toe and then lengthen it back only to the point of your control. So it's a kick, kick, point and lengthen. Good, again, flex to kick, kick forward, point and lengthen one more time. Flex, kick, kick, point and lengthen it back. Now bring the top leg in line with the bottom leg, hold the point, lift the point up on one, flex through the heel and lower it on a three count so you're resisting to lower. So you point and lift, flex, resist, make that top leg longer than the bottom leg as you lower, last two, point and lift. Flex, lower, three, two, one, last time. Point and lift with control, keep the leg nice and parallel, and lower three, 
two, one. Now reverse. Resist the lift. Point, and then lower the legs. You're floating it down like a feather. Flex and lift up. And then point. Use your inner thigh to lower that leg right down. Last two. Flex. Resist the lift with the outer thigh. Point. Flex and lower all the way down. Flex and lift. Point and lower. Good. So now flex that foot. Now reach out of the heel. Try to make it longer than the bottom. So you're reaching through the hip and start to make your circles. So you're making about dinner plate sized circles with that top leg. Last three, two, one. Reverse your circles. Keep the hips square. If you need to, press into that front palm and lean a little bit forward so the hips are nice and stacked. Good. Now lift that leg up to the ceiling. Bend the knee. Place the foot in front of the bottom thigh. If you need to lower the leg to the mat or the knee to the mat, you absolutely can. The top hand will go and hold on to the inside of the ankle. Opposite way. Turn the palm and face the inside. There you go. All right, so go ahead and lift the bottom leg up with the flex foot, and then lift it up, up, and only lower it halfway. It's never touching the bottom. So it's lift, lift, and lower it halfway. Everything's nice and square. The abs are pulled in, the chest is nice and open. Last time, lift and hold it on the lift. Now make circles with that inside leg. Circle for five, four, three, two, and one. Now reverse your circle, you keep flexing Reaching the heel long out in front of you for two and one. Lower that leg to the mat. Bring the top to meet the bottom and we'll turn over onto the left side. So again, you're lining that whole back edge of your body up with the back of the mat. Your hand can go, your head can go into your hand or your arm can lengthen. The feet go to the front edge of the mat. The top hand comes in front of your chest. Flex both your feet. Yep. So go ahead and double kick, kick forward with the flex foot, point the toe and sweep it just beyond the back, just beyond the bottom leg. So you're only going back as far as you can keep the hips square, the abs engaged and the chest nice and open. So it's a flex to kick, kick, point and lengthen. Last one. Good, sweep it back with the point. Now bring the top leg in line with the bottom. Hold the point in the toe. So point the toe. There you go, lift it on one. Flex through the heel and lower three, two, one. So you point and lift, flex to resist the lower. Abs still pulling in and up, hips still square. Last time, point, lift, flex, use that inner thigh. Now hold the flex, reverse it, lift for three, two, one, point and lower down with the inner thigh. Good, it's flex to lift and point to lower. Last two, deep in the abdominals. Last time, flex to lift, point lower. Good, now flex the foot, maybe reach it a little longer, make it longer than the bottom, and then make your circles for five, four. Keep opening the chest, two, and one. Stop and reverse. Keep pulling the abdominals in, squaring the hips. Last two, and one. The top leg will lift up, bend the knee, place the foot in front of the bottom thigh. So you're holding onto the inside of the ankle, opening the chest up. So the bottom leg lifts with a flex foot, you'll lift it up, up, and only lower it about halfway. Keep opening up the chest and squaring the hips. Abs are going in and up. Good, last time. Lift and hold it on the up. Now make your circles from here. Keep pressing through the heel, lengthening the leg long. Last time, stop and center, reverse your circles. Beautiful, Jill. Three, two, and one. Lower that leg down. Bring the top leg to meet the bottom and then turn over onto your back quickly for a figure four stretch. Knees will draw into your chest, and you'll place the right ankle over the left thigh. You'll thread your hands through the legs, and you'll bring your left knee into your chest as you press that right thigh away with the forearm or the elbow, making sure that you're nice and centered. And then when you're ready, go ahead and switch legs. And then when you're ready, draw both knees into your chest. Your arms will be long by your side, ready for a few teasers. So bring your knees into your chest that start from here. Your arms are long by your side. So you'll take an inhale, lift the head, bring your chin to your chest, and then hover your arms up off of the mat like you would be doing for the 100. So go ahead and extend your legs out long and lift your upper body up into a teaser. Your fingers are reaching towards your toes. Your chest pulls through the arms. Your abs are pulled in and up. 
Good, you'll take an inhale, bring your chin to your chest, start to lower the upper body, draw the knees back into your chest, your arms lower by your side. Good, so go ahead and hover the arms first. Take an inhale, lift the head, bring the chin to the chest and lengthen the legs long out to 45 and peel your spine up. So there's a slight curl in the tailbone, your navel's pulled in and up, you're pulling the chest through your arms because you're proud. Good, take an inhale, draw the chin to the chest, lower down, now bring your legs to a tabletop position. Good, so let's go ahead and bring the arms up and lengthen them to about a 45 degree angle. Go ahead and take an inhale, bring the chin to the chest, pull the abs in and lengthen the legs long as you peel the spine up, coming into that same teaser. Good, if you want a little bit of a challenge, you can lift your arms up to the ceiling, the shoulders glide down the back, the chest still pulls through, and go ahead and reach towards your toes, perfect your teaser. Take an inhale, draw the chin into the chest, lower the upper body, and again the legs come back just to a tabletop position. Let's try that one more time. Again, lift the arms up to that 45 degree angle. Take an inhale, lift the head, bring the chin to the chest. Exhale, lengthen the legs, peel the spine up. Good, now go ahead and again, if you want a little bit of a challenge, reach the arms to the ceiling. If you want even more of a challenge, go ahead and lower your legs and then lift them a lot. Scoop the lower abdominals to lower the legs and then lift them. Again, there's a slight curl in your tailbone one more time. Good, reach your fingers towards the toes. Take an inhale, bring your chin to the chest, lower everything down. Go ahead and draw your knees into your chest. Take a rock back and forth real quick. Good. And then go ahead and rock yourself up to a seated position. Good, fur seal. So you'll make a prayer position with your hand, dive it in between your legs. Go ahead and wrap your hands around the outside of your ankles. Heels are together, toes are apart. You'll lift the feet up. Good, so the chin comes to the chest, the navel draws back to the spine. Go ahead and beat the heels three times. So it's a beat, beat, beat. Take an inhale, rock yourself back. Beat, beat, beat. Exhale, lift up and beat, beat, beat. Let's do two more. Deepen the abdominals as you lift up. Keep drawing the navel to the spine. Good, and hold it right here. Place the feet down. Go ahead and turn over on, go ahead and come to standing actually for your front support. So go ahead and turn around so you're standing at the back edge of your mat. You'll go ahead and take a deep inhale, lift the arms to the ceiling. Once you're there, go ahead and draw the navel to the spine, curl the tailbone under so it's like you have a wall behind you. You don't want your butt to hit that wall as you exhale in forward fold. Let your palms come onto the mat. So go ahead and bend your knees onto the mat. Good, as you walk out, you're on your knees, so now you're in a modified plank position. Your shoulders again are over your hips. You bring your hips forward a little bit and let the tailbone or let curl under. So the tailbone is curled under. So again, you think about the navel pulling up towards the ribs. Good, hold it there. Now if you feel strong, you can go ahead and extend your legs behind you, place the toes onto the mat and come up into a plank position. Same thing, so the navel pulls up towards the rib cage. Abs are pulling in and up. Your fingers are nice and wide and you're rounding the upper back. So you go ahead and lift the hips up to the ceiling if you're here. Walk the hands back towards the feet. And just hang, curl the tailbone under again. Don't let the butt stick out. And then peel the spine up one vertebrae at a time. Nice, didn't hit your butt. And <laughs> open the chest. Good, so again, take an inhale, lift up. Let the tailbone lengthen and curl under. Exhale, forward fold. Good, let the hands find the mat. And again, you can go ahead and start to walk your hands out. And if you need to come down to your knees again, you absolutely can. Good, so everything still applies. The pubic bone curls up towards the belly button. The belly button pulls up towards the rib cage. You're not hanging your head. You're one long line like a piece of steel from your ankles to your knees to your hips to your shoulders. Everything is one long line. You can hold this position all day. Good, so if you're in this position, you can go ahead and lift the hips up to the ceiling. Walk your hands back towards your feet. And again, you're just hanging there. Make sure the shoulders are plugged in and then you'll deepen the ab and start to roll the spine up one vertebrae at a time. The head should be the last to lift up. Good, the chest will open. Good, one more time, take an inhale, lift up. Good, let the shoulders press down, let the tailbone lengthen. Exhale, forward fold, let your hands come out. Good, so go ahead and walk your hands out just a little bit and then everybody come down to their knees like we did for the first one. Then you'll walk your hands out again. You'll find that modified plank position. The toes will lift up off of the mat and again, the hips come forward. So same 
still applies as you're pulling the pubic bone up to the belly button. The belly button pulls up to the rib cage. So going into some Pilates push-ups. It's very important that the elbows turn in to hug that center line. As you come down, again, you're coming down in one long line. You're not leading with the chest or the head. So go ahead and bring yourself down into one long line, and then you'll lift back up with control. Beautiful. Keep curling the, or pulling the abdominals in, tucking the tailbone under, and you lift. Let's do two more. You're coming down, one long line. Make sure that your spine is nice and lengthened. One more time. Good, and hold. Good, so now everybody go ahead and lengthen your legs, place your toes onto the mat, and come up into a nice plank position. Same thing, get nice and connected, and then you'll go ahead and lift the hips up to the ceiling, walk the hands back towards the feet, and then just hang with the shoulders, just the arms are lengthening long, they're lifted up off of the mat, and you'll start to make dangling arm circles. Keep drawing the navel towards the spine, and you'll reverse your circles. And then you'll go ahead and stop the circling and take an inhale and start to lift up as you stack the spine up nice and tall. Feel the shoulders connect. Good as you take an inhale and lift up. Go ahead and pivot the palms away so they face the wall. Exhale as you lower the arms. Feel the length in your spine as you grow nice and tall. And you're all done for the day. Bye.